Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. Got a new one from Vinny Sagu. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know I love Vinny. I love Vinny. Uh, you can find his stuff at neomagic.co.uk. This is the perfect match. The perfect match is a wonderful trick for two people, uh, especially if you do wedding magic. I think wedding magicians are always looking for uh, that, that, you know, that really good trick that you could do for a couple or that you could do for uh, a married couple at a, at a wedding. And so I think the perfect match is perfect. All right, the perfect match, how does it go? Um, let me just start by saying this is a completely hands-off, completely easy, self-working effect. There's nothing for you to do. Once you learn how the trick goes, it just, it just goes. And this is all done in the spectator's hands, which is fantastic because it allows you to focus on your presentation and your patter and just being fun and organic in the moment. But it looks like uh, you're some sort of master magician, right? Some sort of master uh, mentalist. Um, in this, there's a little box that says the perfect match on it. And inside there's some little colored sticks, match size. And um, each spectator can kind of divide the sticks and they count how many are in their pile. I mean, one person could have three and the other person could have 20, right? It doesn't matter. They, they could have any amount. They could have even amount, 10 and 10, whatever, right? Whatever amount, they, they, there's, no, there's no magic number. There's no method to how they divide them. They can literally divide them any way they want, okay? Then you show a fan of cards and you just mention that there's some red backs and some blue backs, sure. And that they've memorized their number and that they're gonna go through the cards and they're gonna memorize the card at their number, okay? And you go through the cards, deal them down to the table, bride memorizes her number, groom memorizes his number, scoop them all back up together. And then you say, I'm gonna turn my back, right? I'm gonna turn my back and then you you pull your card out. So you turn your back, they each draw their card out and, and keep it on the table face down. You turn back around and you say, and you look down, you say, oh, okay, obviously uh, you select, one of you selected a red back card and one of you selected a blue back card because that's what you have. And then you say, I, I predicted that. And then you turn the matchbox over and on the back side is your prediction that there'd be one red and one blue. And you say, that's pretty neat because you know, you could have both picked red or you could have both picked blue, but we, we predicted that far. Then you take their two cards and turn them over and they match. They're both the ace of clubs or they're both in the nine of diamonds. And it's a shock to them because they didn't see each other's cards to, to begin with. They, they didn't know what they would pick. And then you just say, well, obviously you guys are a perfect match. All right, so let's say you pay $25 to neomagic.co.uk. What are you going to get? Um, you're gonna get everything. You're gonna get the cards. You're gonna get the matchbox. You're gonna get the little wooden sticks. You're gonna get extra wooden sticks, should you lose one or two. Uh, and you'll get extra stickers, should you want to put it on an actual matchbox, right? That makes so much more sense. Uh, you know, you can, you can get those little drawer slide matchboxes, right? And then it becomes um, a, a really cool trick because it, it plays off of the, the, top, the, the, the sticker. It says perfect match inside our matchbox, inside our matches. And then you guys can say you guys are a perfect match and you have matches, right? Perfect. Um, so you can do it with the wooden sticks right at the box, or you can take the extra stickers, put them on a matchbox, and you're, and you're good to go there. So um, you're going to get everything. Also inside that, you're going to get a folded piece of paper. Uh, that's your instructions, right? So there's some full color instructions. But at the bottom, there's a tutorial link. You can go out to the web. I believe they're both on YouTube, right? Uh, there's an explanation video and a presentation video together. They're barely 10 minutes. So yeah, you'll have video and written instruction as well. Is it what I thought? Uh, I honestly didn't know what to think because um, it's a classic of magic that Vinny disguised very well, right? You're not gonna be able to go back in any magic book and find this specific trick. Vinny took a old, old trick and updated it, put his own you know, spin on it. Uh, if I were gonna compare it to anything else that you might have seen, um, Penn and Teller did that trick where he gave all the audience members cards, right? And then he had them 
tear them in half. And then they shuffled them all together and then they, you know, they did the who loves me, who loves me not thing where they threw some cards in the air and kept some. And then at the end they had two that matched. Um, when I saw Dan White in New York, they did that, it, you know, um, when I saw him as well. I think even um, um, Shin Lim did it when I saw him live too. So it's, you know, you have like eight cards, however many, and you tear them in half. And then you have dupes of every, every card, right? And then you do this shuffle thing and you throw some cards away and you keep some and by the end you have a perfect match. It's this same trick, but this is a, the dressed up version and, the, and, and nobody has to tear cards in half. I don't like tearing cards. Is it well made? It's absolutely well made. You get bicycle cards, right? And uh, like I said, a little, a little drawer slide box. But you know, if you wanna uh, make yours with matches, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna make mine with matches. So uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a lot of fun. As far as the videos go, they're shot like all of Vinny's videos. Uh, he's in a stark white environment and he does his presentation over uh, a table with an overhead shot. Um, he has, you know, mic'd and he's walking you through the trick. Within 10 minutes, you know, that's just barely enough time to show you and tell you how it goes. But like I said, there's, there's no sleight of hand to this. It's completely hands off. You're not even, you're not even looking for a key card. You're not even, uh, you're not even making sure that the cards are in red, blue, red, blue order. You can literally give the cards to the spectator. They can shuffle them any they want. They can shuffle them overhand, riffle, doesn't matter. So pocket space, it's the items I mentioned, right? It's a handful of cards that would probably easily fit in one of those vinyl wallets. Uh, or I would just stick that stack of cards on top of a deck. That'd probably be the easiest way to do it. You know, just say, hey, we're gonna use these X amount of cards and take them off the top of the deck. And yeah, just mention that this is a, a junk deck. It's made up of, you know, all these different kinds of cards. And in this deck, you know, there's red, blue, there's, you know, you can show other cards, be different backs. You can show a bunch of jokers in there. You can just say, this is my, you know, this is my rando deck. And we'll just use these top, you know, 22 cards or whatever, right? And then go into your trick. That might be a really cool way to make it look random and haphazard, right? But in the end, they end up finding mates, so. That would, be, that would be pretty darn cool. Uh, angles though and inspectability, there's nothing to find because it's all normal objects, nothing's gimmicked, nothing's gaffed, and it's in their hands the whole time they do all the work. Like I said, how hard is this? It couldn't be easier, couldn't be easier. Um, and I think that goes for a lot of Vinny's magic. Uh, I, would, I would highly recommend you go and scout out his website, look at some of his other tricks, go through this channel and watch some of the other reviews I've done for him. Uh, his tricks are they're solid. They're solid. They don't look like anything else. He's very creative, and a lot of times the tricks are very easy. They're, they're make, they make wonderful everyday carries. Um, there's no setup and reset for this either. After the, you know, the items come back to you, you don't have to put them back into any order or arrangement. It's, it's the perfect trick. It really is. It's the perfect trick. So positives, like I said, perfect for couples and perfect for wedding venue. Negative, you gotta have a couple, right? You have to have a couple. It, work, it works best for two people. You really do need two people. Don't ask me, can you perform this for one person, okay? This is not a one person trick. You really need to find two people to do this for. Restaurant magicians, again, I mean, how often when you go out to dinner, you're gonna find two people sitting together, right? It's, it'd be much, it'd be, it'd be harder to find just one lone person sitting by themselves, right? Most people that go out to dinner, there's two people. So um, this would be great for a restaurant walk around as well. Um, is it worth their money? It's only $25, 25 bucks. There's downloads that cost that much money and you don't get a thing. Vinny could have easily left the cards out. He could have just said, oh, just use your own cards from home. He could have said that, but he gave you cards. So come on, totally worth your money. Um, I already mentioned who would like this. Um, yeah, so that's everything I can say about Perfect Match, Vinny Sagu, neomagic.co.uk. I hope I've introduced you to a brand new trick or at least answered questions for you about a trick that you knew a little bit about. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, and follow. Push all those buttons. That helps me out a ton. It encourages me to keep going, to make these videos day after day after day. Another way you can encourage me is you can become a member of this channel. That's right, you can join this channel for only a couple bucks a month and you'll get access to extra videos every single week. And I'll put a uh, information packet together for you. It'll be at the end of this file. 
Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks to Vinny Sagu. And if you would like to purchase his tricks, head on over to neomagic.co.uk. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Have a great summer. Hey, did you know there are over 300 videos and reviews that you've never even seen here at Magic Orthodoxy? It's true. And if you join the membership section today, you'll get unlimited access to that exclusive content. What are those videos? These would be the magic tricks that I buy with my own money. These are the tricks that I want, the tricks I am the most excited about. All you have to do is click the join button on your screen. And there are two exciting ways to join. For $2, you'll get access to eight extra videos a month, eight brand new videos a month. And for $5 a month, you'll get access to 12 new videos a month. Not to mention, you'll also be part of an exclusive community of almost 500 other magicians. And if you can't find the join button, I will put a link in the description of today's video. Thanks guys, bye.